The sir turning at Ina's Gate in Shirvan marked the start of construction of 46 town houses. Ina's investment, the company behind this project, is the brainchild of the Warner Group in Tobago and was born out of a desire to see Tobagonians return to the culture of collective economic independence. We must find a way to share the nation's wealth equally. We all work in the plantation, we all pay our taxes, and we have to find a formula to distribute the nation's wealth in an equitable kind of way. But the name of the company has a sentimental value to the Warner family. It was named after their mother who instilled core values in the lives of not only her children, but other young ones in the village of Moriah. For this company, he wanted a name with true meaning. A name that recognized other aspects of human experience as being important to his development, the development of his siblings, and helped shape him into the person that he is today. A name to encourage and inspire higher levels of achievement, expectations, and products our company would deliver in the future. The houses will be constructed in phases. The first phase is scheduled to commence in two weeks' time and would be completed in about 12 months. The total cost of construction is estimated at $50 million. Although it has been described as a 100% private initiative, a number of assemblymen attended the ceremony, including THA Chief Secretary Orville London. So I'm saying that this project here sends some very positive signals to us as to what is being done for us, but it also sends a challenge to us as what we have to do for ourselves. Because the Alan Warners of the world, the Dionysus of the world, the assembly cannot do it except Tobagonians are prepared to buy into it. The company has indicated its willingness to work along with local and international agencies, financiers and partners through public and private sector participation to expand and develop Tobago's housing stock. The group is seeking to have the THA partner with them to solve the housing shortage and has invited them to consider participation in their second project. We in the Tobago Housing Assembly need more private developers to recognize and appreciate the need and the demand and, as a consequence, get involved. One townhouse goes for $1.6 million with a 10% down payment for reservation. I am Patricia Nicholson for CNews.